Personal log, 6.32 a.m. <coughs> <coughs> Sunday, December 18th. Out of boom. Bada boom, bada bing, I left the battery on the microphone. Oh well. It's a new battery, they last forever almost. Personal log. <coughs> <coughs> This is important for other people who are already awake or will wake up soon to understand. Lily got me up uh, early this morning. About just after 4 a.m. and she was giving me nice feelings making allowing me helping me making me feel a, a touch of happiness and joy um, I woke up a couple days ago or maybe it was yesterday I don't know I have no idea anymore <coughs> <coughs> But I woke up and uh, I woke up in such bliss, happiness, it was amazing. I was so happy and content, I was so happy that I was out of this body. But the thing is, there was still a piece of me in here, but I was just hanging out of my body for the longest time, being with Lily and all and the others. And so I had that feeling of bliss, and then I woke up and saw myself stuck in this damn body and in that chair that I sleep in and just But I appreciated having that feeling at least. Anywho, anywho um, <coughs> I was getting up this morning and Lily was proud of me to come, you know, to go ahead and get up, get out of bed, get the day started, get, you know, take your vitamins and the medicine, clean up, get downstairs, get your coffee, get your, uh, breakfast sandwich and get going and it was it was nice to feel that happiness coming from her. Lily's an incredible being. All of you are incredible. Just incredible as hell but uh, Lily's very special especially to me. She's my better half. It's just a teeny teeny piece of her but that's okay. It's still part of her. <coughs> <coughs> Every time I go in a body, I take her and I put it asleep inside a special sphere that I make that nothing can get in except me when I'm my full self. And then I make a small dimension, put her in it, and close it up. No one can find her. I can't even find her until I'm myself again. Although, I'm just a teeny part of... Uh, Vara, I am a chunk of the uh, focal point of Vara, so I'm stuck in this body. Well, at least not that big. She couldn't be. <coughs> <coughs> she had to be small enough to where she didn't have enough power to do anything to help me. 
and that way the original first being Habs would leave her alone and not beat on her. That's why every time before I went in the body to have a life, I protected the lily. The other side is like a, it's like a prison with open walls. And the original first being Habs, uh, um, uh, servants, their strongest servants, uh, they actually call them protectors. Um, they were 20 to 27 percent lower frequencies. Uh, they were uh, pretty strong. As soon as you did anything, the, the wrong thing or acted up or anything, they'd come beat on you. Now the original first being was never strong enough at any point in its existence before it broken a male and female into two parts creating male and female yada 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 it was never strong enough at any point in its existence while it still existed to kill energy to kill spirit i've been doing that all you know i don't know since 2009 through the body just a little piece of me Um, the reason why I told you that <clears throat> is I want you to have an understanding of the difference in power level between what's on the other side and me and of course it's, they're not there anymore the strongest thing over there while I was here uh, is Aramalius and I killed him a long time ago 2015 I think finished killing him 2014 I don't know uh, I don't really care. But the other side is like a, a prison. You have to watch what you say. You can move around, but you can't go anywhere. I mean, you know, you can't get anywhere unless you want to get in the body. And your energy uh, frequencies that you put out, if they started flaring up and they were either, uh, as you would see them looking at them, they were either black or red when they saw that. Then they started, then the, these little son of a bitch uh, servants, original first being uh, servants, so first being half servants, would come flying over and uh, they'd start pounding on you. Red is love, hard energy. Black is when you're condensing your energy and compressing it so that you can do something, so, so you can act. <coughs> <coughs> Again, something. It's like flexing a muscle. Well, that's going to change. You're going to feel it over here, but you're going to feel other things first. Because I'm going to tear the third dimension apart. Uh, everything else, too. I still kill stuff every day. I did this morning before I ever got out of my chair bed. They're all sick and they're all following the old way. All the original first being ever did is lie. It was talking to me nonstop from 2009 to uh, both halves. From 2009 to um, uh, uh, 2012, July of 2012, just before July of 2012, when I finally started, I took two shots to kill the original first being halves, both of them, male and female. July 10th, 2012, and then finally May 23rd, 2013. But until, you know, early July, they finally stopped talking to me. They were, we were, the fighting had gotten so intense, they were just hiding everywhere. So, they're trying to hide in my head and run me. I mean, it's insane, but they've been doing that to all of you. When, the, when you're in the body, they run the hell out of you. There, the only hell that actually exists, and it's not hell, but it's something worse, is the amount of time you're stuck in a physical body, and you get abused by everything. The original first being have set that up, and all their servants and everything else, that's what they did. That was their job. And everyone else on the other side, they're sick. 
They're literally mentally sick. Not everyone, but most of them. All the ones acting out are. There's a lot of good people. When the fighting started, I had people coming to me, and I was seeing them as individual spirit beings, but it's like they're in some form of physical body, and they were carrying a suitcase. And there would be a male, a female, some children, and they just look at me, and I'm like, okay, you want me to protect you? And then I knew I was supposed to literally put them inside of uh, a dimension I'd already created inside the middle of my head. So I did. That's why when, uh, after killing almost all the angels, when um, Archangel, with the one they call Archangel Michael, when he came up to me and stared, he got right up almost in my face, he, but he came up close to me, looked me right in the eye, face to face, and I was like, oh, hell no, man, I love you. Don't, you know, don't make me attack you. And then he was looking at me like confused, like, what's the matter with him? And then I finally realized that, you know, he came to me so I could put him, store him in there. So I did. I take him, I put him to sleep, I put him inside an orb, put him to sleep, and then coat it. Nothing can break that coat except me. Nothing. And then I store him in that place. And inside that uh, dimension, that place, inside my head, there's uh, all these little dragons flying around. Um, that's the energy fields that would look after and care for everyone in there. Then after the massive killing stopped, I started letting them all out. Uh, people, you know, don't understand. You can't see for yourself, so you have to try to believe people. You know, there's a lot of nice people that are like ministers and rabbis or whatever. and but they're working on false pretenses. They don't know any better. People used to say, oh, anyone who talks to spirit is just nuts. They're insane. They need to, uh, if you talk to spirit and it talks back to you, then you have to go on medication. What about all the priests and preachers and everything? What about the people that say, I talk to God. Really? Okay, we got to put you away. I don't believe in that shit, but I know Jesus is coming back, and, uh, oh, really? How are you going to know what he looks like? I mean, were you there when he was having a life? No, but we'll all know him. Uh, okay, uh, by the things he does, yeah, like he's going to be a seer and everything else. So, by according to your own rules, you need to just go ahead and, you know, lock him up. Religions are nothing but full of shit, every, every single one of them. And the other side, it has been, it's like pur purgatory, what they call purgatory. That's what it's like when you get out of the body. There's no wonderful stuff. All these people that have died and everything, they were shown shit by, you know, others on the other side, or a lot of them just make it up. I guess I'm going to put this on the internet and that's why I'm not speaking normally as I do with my personal logs. Uh, my personal logs are exactly that. Uh, any information in it that's important, Deanna will release later, but a lot of it's for me and Deanna, our children, her immediate physical family. This video will end soon because Lily can only perk me up to talk so long and then I go back to comatose. I used to move by wobbling from one place to another, usually with a crutch. And just like wobble from the table to this other table to the chair, you know, just leaning on stuff. Now, now it's... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to wobble from one place to another four foot away. I keep going to pass out and 
Lily and everyone else have, you know, I've been talking about leaving this body for a long time, but uh, I've been wrong every time because I'm still here. But the nice thing about it is that these bodies don't last forever, and this body can't function anymore. Lily's starting to pull her energy out of me, but she's leaving me some in there so I can talk to finish this. Anyway, people, I've I've told people everywhere, you can't appreciate who you really are. You don't know. You're just not aware. And sometimes people get, you know, oh, you think you're so smart and so cool. I am what I am. And I am different. I know better than nothing. There's no such thing. How can you have equality if anything is quote unquote better than something else? No. We can do things better than each other in a physical body and out of a physical body, but we have no more value one person than another. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, thanks for the help, Lily. The value thing, that was her talking. I can't even remember what I just said. Anyway, uh, the gap is closing. Lily won't even let me make an, a, you know, try to make an appointment with a doctor. I go to call everything gets shut down I mean she's controlling everything and you know she said uh, that, you know there's no need for any more of it and the meds you know they'll run out soon but that's not a problem I won't need them I keep seeing this body dead all the time that and my animals around here all of them just you know gone I leave and take them with me This morning when I woke up about four this morning, um, even my suffocation was very soft. I wake up every day, one to three, every morning, suffocating hard and I have to take this breathing treatment nebulizer. <laughs> one or two treatments to loosen up the mucus in my lungs so I can talk, but this body's, it's not just the lungs. Lung specialists, the group I went to, really good people, Gwinnett Pulmonary Group, GPG, uh, they ran a bunch of tests on me and it's, uh, they said like 55% of my uh, uh, breathing problems is my heart because it's shot. Anyway, whatever. I'll get out of here. I didn't want to talk about this. So really wants me to summarize stuff, I guess. I, I'm, I can't even follow her now because I'm getting, you know, I'm not being drained. It's just that she's pulling her energy out. Out of me. Everything's going to change. It's going to be violent for a while, but it's not just random killing. I'm going to get take the trash out on the janitor, I told you, years ago. I knew people would think I was arrogant, especially after I started going in and working on your brains and you felt it and you had the proof that I'm real. And it's like, he'll think it. This chair makes noises company <laughs> uh, so I went out of my way so people wouldn't just think I'm some kind of arrogant idiot because I'm not I'm neither I think there was a couple other things I was supposed to I want, wanted to log in here. Uh, 
Oh well. The other side is sick. Animals were telling me many, many years ago, you got to come home, man. It's bad over here. You're in a body you don't remember. Now that I'm just about out of this damn flesh bag, I can see more on the other side. Alright. Really pull their energy out and sell them back to comatose. Um, Everything is happening, so it's going to happen quick. It's not going to happen by some crazed idiot. That's not how it goes. It's just going to happen because it's what needs to be done. Come on, Lily. Um, it's like a demolition crew. Destroying and then a construction crew building. And there will be happiness and compassion uh, understood in the, just in the air surrounding everyone in and out of body. So you'll know the, other, the original ones aren't just dead but they've been replaced by the exact opposite of what they were. They didn't care about anyone. They wanted only everyone's destruction. Destruction, what do you mean by that? Oh, they wanted to beat people up um, uh, to make them grow real quick. And the more they beat them up, the more they grew, and then they'd separate. When it's time, they'd take the two halves of the one spirit they take you and your spirit mate actually there's only one you have and then put you in one of these new universes and then you release a bunch of your um, uh, selves so it, the more they beat you up especially when they go to max you out then instead of releasing a billion release a couple trillion or whatever I mean I'm looking for basic you know ratios here are not actual numbers it's a lot more than that so they didn't care they wanted to beat the crap out of you because they were about to get you to release other energy and then you could relax so and you never meant shit to them none of you did <coughs> I told him again, this life, the original assholes, I told him these bodies are part of creation and therefore have rights. And he goes, no, 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 no such thing. So they, they didn't mind destroying someone, just pushing them as hard as they could to make more. And then by having, by you being with your spirit mate and releasing more parts of yourself, then there's more prayer machines for them. So it was selfish, disgusting. I've said I was done and not coming back to do any more videos and then somehow I always still wind up stuck here and coming back. There's no more coming back. I'll drop soon. get home and everything will start that's it she's got nothing else she wants me to say she's trying to help it's not she's not trying to run me like a puppet she's just trying to help to get the message we want you to have 
Well, you and I are your oldest brother and sister. We care about you. All of you. Until you hurt someone else, and then you become no, no more to me than cold ash in the fireplace. There's never been... Before I got into this body, there's never been anything that had my power level. I mean, I'm such a enigma in creation. But after all the fighting now, it's just gone through. It's lost somewhere what I am and what I can do. Once myself again. And it's going to be, creation's going to be about compassion, honor, equality. The way it should have been in the beginning, if, if they cared about any of you, cared about us. Okay, I gotta go before I fall on my face. I know it's been hard for everyone, especially those of you that have been with me following, because uh, you're suffering in your own way for your own things while, you know, you're watching me trying to get out of this body. And those of you that know me know what I've gone through to get out. So it looks like, uh, looks like I'm about to ring the doorbell, so to speak. But it, it's more like just falling on the door and it opens to get out of this body. People wonder why their life sucks and why you have a good day is so important to you. Yes, because so many of the other ones suck. And even those of you that have been given a nice life because you've had so many horrific bad lives back to back you needed to have a half-assed one. What you're about to receive is so much better than anything like that could have been. Wait till y'all find out that Trump's got a piece of me in him. <clears throat> All this bullshit in the media, the rest of them, and the rest of you assholes so that won't open your fucking mind to actually look into what's going on. You just believe the media? A lot of you are, are told, have been told to do that by assholes on the other side. It's all going to get squared away. Uh, well, we'll see you soon. But you won't be looking at this body. I'll come talk to a lot of you. But I won't look like this, but you will know for a fact you're talking to me. With me. Wait till you meet Lily. She's incredible. Her power. Love is the, the most powerful energy field there is. People don't understand that. Uh, a lot. Most people don't, but it's... Alright, that's it. Uh, I love you folks. See you later. See you soon.